All right, here, second try, I guess. I don't know, first time I messed up, but yeah, anyways. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me again, back with another video. And yes, I know, it's been a while since I uploaded my last video. It's been like, what, five days already? Like, damn, I didn't even feel like five days, for like three. Whatever. And today, I'm going to be talking about... Cause that's so weird. About, like, these new deals for the week, apparently. It ends on, like, June 9th. And yeah, it's on eBay. Everything here I'm gonna be talking about is new, and it, they're all by credible sources, so like, they're not gonna be scamming you. Wait, what's that noise? Oh, damn. My fans are loud. Not my like fans, but like my PC fans. Yeah. Anyways, here, let's get into it now. First, I'm not even using my sniper. I'm using my freaking pistol, mostly. Yeah, let me get in here so I won't die. First, I've, if you're trying to go for a Ryzen, and it, I know Ryzen, like, um, Ryzen PCs have been getting more popular recently, because due to the new Ryzen CPUs, right? Obviously. Um, we have the AMD Ryzen 7 1700X. It's an 8-core processor, so it's going to be real good also for, um, for the editing and all that software you'll be using on your PC. Uh, yeah, it's the 1800, no, the 1700X 8 cores, and it's clocked at 3.4 gigahertz. And you're gonna be thinking, like, well, at 3.4 gigahertz, I might as well get like a Intel uh, quad core that's up clocked at like 4, 4 gigahertz and it could boost up to 5. But no, this has, it's also at 95 watts, so like, it's gonna be, it's gonna be overclockable, and like, like, it's gonna have good. Freaking overclocks. I don't know what the hell to call it. Yeah, it's a core, so it's not gonna be um uh 3.4, and that's it. It's gonna be 3.4 times eight. So yeah, that's how that's how good it's gonna be. And it'll be better than a four gigahertz because that'd be four times four, which is 16, and 3.4 times eight is a lot better than that regular old Intel processor you've been thinking about buying. Yeah. Okay, cool. Now next we have this motherboard. I, I, what, what, what chips? Are Be advised, I have no idea what the CPU socket for is, but it's pretty nice. You go look at it it's on eBay. Just like search it up. It's called the Gigabyte Ultra Durable 4 Classic GA 978. I think that's what the socket is. GA 978. I'm not sure though. Um, D3P desktop motherboard AMD 970. So, you're not gonna be buying no freaking laptop parts. Oh, mini trick shot. Watch this. Playing. I'm garbage. Alright, let's see what we have next. Uh, I get some stuff into this. Oh, okay. I don't know if you're gonna be looking into this that much. But, if you are, here, I'll tell you. This is where you budget for people on like a tight tight budget trying to make a uh a, a freaking pc under 200 dollars right here so yeah this this is a ramp it's, it has no backplay so it's gonna just be looking like your sd card that you have on your phone but yeah it's gonna be kind of ugly but it's all right it gets the job done and especially if you have like like four of those it's it's two gigabyte of ram it's dd ddr2 memory so it's just you know pretty bad I'm telling this is for you for your low budget users right here I'll definitely not be using it I'm on DDR4 Intel Skylake and the game ended I'm freaking garbage what is this well I thought I said it to like more kills and I didn't even win I wasn't all right I'll tell you why I didn't win I wasn't paying attention I'm looking into my freaking PC or I went into the free ah whatever. So it's Patriot memory DDR2 two gigabyte PC2 6400 800 megahertz DIMM. What's D dim dim slot? Oh, it's a dim slot. That's what. So all right, regularly it's 60. Oh, I should have been telling you what it is regularly and then. Oh, who cares. I'll start it now. Regularly it's sixty dollars, but right here, get this. It's half that price. It's like twenty six dollars. So less than half that price basically and here we have these high quality freaking it's gonna be okay 
How crazy. It's gonna be uh, a low budget GP also, so another for you budget users. It's gonna be worse than the 1050, so. The GTX 1050. Yeah, um, it's a Ryzen Tech, never heard of it. ATI Radeon HD 4650, one gigabyte. One gigabyte of VRAM, that's garbage. Uh, uh, DDR2 SD RAM PCI Express. Oh, so it's gonna be running on PCI Express. Here, let me restart another game. I don't know why I didn't do that before, but yeah, it gives me some time to be reading. Yeah, it's uh regularly at one hundred and forty dollars, which is a horrible price, and now it's ninety dollars, which is still a horrible price. You probably get this for like seventy dollars. I'm not playing. Don't don't get here. These people are trying to like rid you of your money. Next we have. Oh, what the hell? I'm gonna keep getting notifications on my phone. No idea. Okay. <laughs> now we have another Ryzen CPU. Definitely not for you budget users. But it is, uh... Oh, uh, this this meant for gamers. The other one, I don't think it was meant for a gamer. I think it was meant for, like... For well, you all could all, you can obviously use it for gaming. It'll be run well on gaming. But the, that one was an 8-core. And game games only use 4-cores. So, yeah. It, we would just have 4 extra cores. But, yeah. And this one's the new AMD Ryzen 5 1500X, uh, 3.5 gigahertz quad core AM4 socket. That's the socket for this one. This AM4, 3.7. Wait, what? Oh, it turbo to 3.7. Oh, I'm not playing. Wait, what? It can only turbo to 3.7. I'm pretty sure you could definitely overclock it way more than just 3.7 gigahertz. Probably like 4.5. I don't know, this is not giving you accurate, accurate freaking overclock speed, but whatever. Turbo desktop processor, it's a, yeah, I already told you, it's an AM4, right? Quad core, so it's going to be 3.5 times 4, it's pretty good, but not as good as the 8 core I was talking about. It'll be still pretty good, though. Oh, oh, where are you at? Oh, I got him. Yeah. It, first, uh, it was three hundred dollars, which is oh dang, might as well get an i7 for that, right? i7 2700K would be ten times better than this old freaking AMD processor. Or it's not old; it's actually fairly new. But yeah, anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, three hundred dollars regular. Right now, it is very, very cheap at a one hundred eighty-seven. So that was over a hundred dollars, probably. I didn't do the math, but I just said it in my head. Right there. We go upstairs so I don't die. Instantly, maybe we die a little later. Okay. And yeah, no one needs these cables. These fans are ugly. Is this another? Oh, I guess we have another um, motherboard here. It, wait, is it the same one? No, it's not the same one. Okay. This one's a Gigabyte Ultra Durable GA B150M. So that's the um, thing. If you're running like a Skylight uh, PC, do not buy this motherboard because you will be very disappointed because you're not going to be able to run anything. It won't turn on because it's a B150M. You need to get like a HD70 or B250 because it's going to say need a BIOS update. And basically that means you got to buy an old CPU and like change some stuff on the BIOS. And I don't even know how to do that so it's going to be probably complicated. Unless you have an old CPU that's this socket type. And actually, no, don't even do that. Just, just buy a 250M, it's gonna be more expensive. Uh, HU70 also, and like the newer ones, Z, whatever. I forgot what it's called, but yeah, don't don't buy this if you're getting like a new Skylake PC. So. But if you're getting like an older one that still has a socket type, then you could definitely get this. Go just go on PC Part Picker and plug in all your stuff there. If it says um, it needs a BIOS update, so you guys won't be confused then. You, you might not even need a BIOS update. If, yeah, just go on PC part picker, plug in everything else, just type it in. It'd be super easy. I, I should make a tutorial on PC part picker. No, I'm not gonna do that. All right, yeah. Uh, the B150 D3H GSM desktop motherboard Intel 1 B150. Regularly, it's 140, which is a horrible price. Never, you can probably pick this up for $60. And right now it's $102. Never pick this up for $102. Well, I don't know what the hell eBay's talking about with their freaking pricing, but this is a garbage freak. It doesn't even have HDMI. Oh, it does have HDMI. Barely. They should probably pick this up by like 
80 to $90. What is he trying to do? Oh, all right, another one. Okay, this is gonna be the end of the video. One more thing. Corsair Avengers 16 gigabyte DDR3 SD RAM mother freaking module, whatever. Uh, $150 regular, and now it's $144. That's like $3 less. Get the freak out of here. That's some nice heatsink, so. The 54 yeah, I, 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 I might get position. Well, I started something. Anyways, end of the video. Peace out. Oh, there's a GTX 1060. I'm not going to tell you, but peace out. And I'm gone.